So this is our nice fillet of salmon that we're going to keep. I'm just going to trim off. I'm just going to trim that straight off actually, and that'll go into the fish cakes. And we've got a nice shape. Again, just look for the bones. Just if you just run your finger along, they'll usually pop up if there's any in there. They'll just kind of rub against your finger and pop up. Okay, so we want so a nice piece out there. If you always try and go on an angle, you'll find when you get to the end, you're more likely to have sort of even shaped bits of fish. Again, that will go into the fish cakes. So. There we go, so nice, four nice pieces of salmon. We're ready to cook. So what we want to do, we want to try and cook reasonably gently. Now the other way that you'll you'll ruin it is if you try and turn it or move it too soon. You need to just leave it pre. You want to let the skin go nice and crispy, nice and solid, and then it won't stick. You can, if you cook it properly, you can cook it in any pan you want. You know these are nice and well pans, which would have been great because it kind of takes the fear out of it for me. But these old things have been keeping around the kitchen for about ten years, and in theory we should still be able to do it. So we'll just turn that down a little bit, and you just see, you can see this fish changing colour, yeah? You can see as the skin's going crispy there, uh -huh. it just peels away quite nice and easily from the pan. And whenever you're cooking, if you're cooking a bit of sea bass or a bit of sea bream, um, like the one we had earlier, the fillets are really, really thin. So you never want to turn it over, because that will just crispen up with the nice soft flesh and it just ruins it. So you put the skin side down, just always hold it a little bit, because the natural thing for it to do, it'll tense up and it'll try and curl. So just hold it for a few seconds until it sets and then just try and cook it all the way through on, on the skin side and then your, your flesh will be much nicer. Um, and also much the same way as you would meat, don't overcook it. Don't cook the fish until it's, you know, until it's cooked. Cook it until it's nearly cooked, take it off and let the residual heat just finish cooking it. Especially if you've got a nice little wild fish that's, you know, a day old, there's nothing wrong with it, with eating it raw, you know, you'd eat sushi. So, you know, just let it cook, cook along gently, gently, gently. Hopefully this isn't burning the skin. It's a bit hard to tell on this. A nice crispy skin. We'll just turn it down. And what I normally do now is just take it out of the pan, put it on a tray with a little oil, and then just finish it in the oven. Because obviously the pan here, the heat in that pan, even though this is turned right down, it's just going to be a little bit aggressive for the flesh. So if you pop it in an oven, it'll just be a much more gentle and surrounding heat. Okay, 